A number of children in Bristol are skipping school today in a school strike for Palestine demonstration. Organised by a collective of local campaigners and parents, the event called on youngsters to, quotes, protest for the thousands of Palestinian children killed and injured by the Israeli military strikes. Let's speak to our GB News South West reporter, Jeff Moody. Good afternoon to you, Jeff. A lot of people will be asking, how was this actually allowed? Absolutely. And I think the answer to that is it hasn't been allowed. Um, talking to a lot of the parents here today, um, the, the children were of all ages. There was little reception, children from reception, right up to sixth form. Well, the sixth forms, that's not a problem. They decided to walk out of their lesson earlier on today, and they're perfectly entitled to do that. But obviously it's the, the children of uh, 16 or below where the issue lies. And many of the parents said to me, look, they hadn't actually asked permission. They just literally uh, emailed the school this morning and said, my child isn't coming in today. And they said they're not quite sure um, whether there'll be any repercussions from that, whether there might be some sanctions or even some fines. Parents can be fined quite heavily if their children miss school. Um, and also, it's going to be a semi-regular thing. I mean, they were saying to me, well, it's just one day. But they did a demonstration here last week, today too, and they're going to continue every Friday until there is a ceasefire. So this could be a long-running thing. Um, the children were invited to chant slogans, to sing songs, to make speeches. And one of them um, certainly said, from the river to the sea, uh, Palestine shall be free, which we know is uh, associated, uh, widely regarded as an anti-Semitic uh, chant. Um, it's, a que it's questionable as to what the children knew and what the children believe, because they were very, very young indeed, some of them, and they were, you know, chanting slogans from bits of cardboard that were uh, presented to them. But um, their teacher, the, the, some of their teachers were here, most of them weren't, but I did catch up with one of the main organisers of the event. Her name is China Fish, and this is what she had to say. Um, it's only one day. Um, we feel that this is a really pertinent time and a really important time that we use our voices in any way we can now that almost 5,000 children have been killed um, by Israel since the 7th of October. As parents um, and the children, we, f we all feel so concerned that we need to help stop any more killings of children. So it's, the focus today is all about the children and saving children's lives. Well, she also went on to tell me that uh, the children are very well informed, that they're taught about the, the Middle East at school and that the opinions that they're coming out with today are their own. And she says that it's wonderful that children are politically again engaged at such an early age. OK, Jeff Moody, thank you very much. I mean, the thing is, no matter what the subject matter was, protesting on a school day. Yeah, it just feels it, wrong. I mean, it started into under the Greta Thunberg uh, protests and then it seemed that was OK because of the green future. Mm -hmm. But I think for that uh, person there to say that it's going to happen again, every Friday is a lot of school time being missed. Pippa. And depending on how young the children are, do they really understand what they're, what they're saying? Uh, that's the worry. And the, and the charts there sound, well, upsetting for many people to hear, I think, from, from, from young mouths. Well, you have been getting in touch with us on this exact topic. What have people been saying, Chris? Well, Diane says, I find this re repulsive. What are the parents thinking of? It's no wonder this country has gone down the drain. I blame the school and the parents. If my kids did that, they'd be grounded for months and certainly would have all their phones confiscated. Whatever your political views, this is pushing things too far. Sack the teachers too. Patrick, good afternoon to you. You say, has the world gone completely insane? Just watch the Bristol children's strike and the horrific views that parents have forced on the children. Of course, they don't know what they're being told to chant. Absolutely disgusting. And the parents should be arrested for hate crimes. <clears throat> what is China Fish on about? Well, we, she, did, she did have her say there, didn't she? Well, yeah, we did hear, have we given did, her the right We did hear from her. Andy says, children are skipping school to protest. Where is the education secretary? That's Gillian Keegan. These teachers should be sacked and never allowed to work again with children. 
Well, Stephen, hello to you, says absolutely disgusting that parents allow children to demonstrate and shout anti-Semitic statements. It's indoctrination and they should be arrested and the schools that have allowed this should be ashamed. Well, some would say that they weren't actually anti-Semitic statements. They are calling for peace.